Hey, what's up guys? Chris here with another video. Now, this is my first video of 2016, so I'm super excited to share this information with you. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get American version Netflix in Canada. So if you've currently got Netflix in Canada and you're not too happy with the selection of movies, um, watch this video throughout and I'll be showing you how to get access to the American version, but not just the American version, you can actually access any version of Netflix, so whether that be the UK, Mexico, Australia, whatever you want, you can actually access the full Netflix library. Now how we're going to do this is by using a DNS service called Overplay. Now it's very simple to set up and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, but first of all I'm going to show you exactly what Overplay does, just so you can see its full potential before you actually have to register or put in any card details, that kind of thing. Now let me do a quick demonstration for you. We're going to go to my Safari and we're going to head on over to Netflix. Now I've set up my Netflix to be in Canada. So if we go to Browse, you can see it says Canadian Films. And just to uh, show you that I am on the Canadian Netflix, I'm going to go to the Search tab. And I'm going to type in a few movies that I know are not on the Canadian version. So we type in The Flash. You can see it's not there. If you type in Sons of Anarchy, you can see it's not available. Uh, and also The Originals, which is a vampire series, very popular, um, it is not available to watch. So what we'd do, we'd close down uh, Netflix, we'd reopen a browser and we'd go to over-play.net. Now this is the Overplay home screen. Uh, as you can see, it's very colorful. Uh, it says security, flexibility, and speed. It's well known for its speed. Now, it's got two different services on here. We've got Smart DNS and Smart DNS plus VPN. VPN is more for people that want internet security, uh, but we're going to concentrate on the DNS. Now, before you set up an account, I'm going to show you my account. So this is the back end. Uh, we're going to concentrate on this tab here, which is Smart DNS. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And this is the Smart DNS page. So uh, you can see it says websites, and then it's got Netflix, Amazon, HBO, Hulu, etc. Uh, now we're going to change the location. Now it's a simple drop down box. You can choose between any of these countries, uh, but we're going to choose the US for this demonstration. And then down in the right hand side here, you can see Netflix region changed to United States. So now we can head on back over to Netflix. So let's close this browser. Now I normally give it about 30 seconds for it to configure itself. Um, so I think it's been long enough now. Let's go back to Safari. I'll type in Netflix. There you go. If we go to browse, you can see it doesn't say Canadian anymore. Um, and if you can even see here, it's Sons of Anarchy. Um, so that shows that we are on the US version. And if we also type in The Flash. You can see the flash is available to stream and also the originals. There you go, the new vampire series that is available to stream as well. Okay, so if you're happy with what you've just seen, I'm just showing you how Overplay works and how you can get the American version of Netflix in Canada. Now is the time that I'm gonna show you how to set it up on your device. Now we're doing it on the Mac. So in the top left hand corner, click on the Apple and then go down to System Preferences, and we'll click there. And here you'll see it says Network. So we're gonna double click Network, and on the left-hand side, it says Wi-Fi, because I'm currently connected to Wi-Fi. So we'll click there, and we'll click Advanced. Okay, we're gonna click the DNS set tab here. And what yours will currently look like is this. So you'll just have like one uh, DNS in here, or you may have two. Uh, open up a notepad and actually uh, t write it out in your notepad just for future reference in case you ever wanted to revert back uh, or needed it for future reference. So save that in your notepad and what we're going to do, we're actually going to change that to uh, the codes I'm about to give you. Now you can do that by clicking the plus sign here and it'll go to all zeros and we're going to type this in manually which is 209.107.219. Dot three. Okay, we're going to add a secondary DNS service, so click the plus bar again, uh, and we're going to type 64.145.73.2. Now, once you've done that, you're going to click OK, 
and you're going to click apply and we can close this down okay now we've changed our DNS settings we need to set up an overplay account now we're going to head on over to overplay you can do that by clicking the link in the description that is my affiliate link so if you actually do sign up through my affiliate link I do get a commission which does help me uh, to make more videos so I really appreciate you clicking my link alternatively you can open up the Safari browser and you can type it in manually which is www.over-play.net now you've reached the overplay home screen we're going to go ahead and we're going to click this button which is get started now and it's going to give you two uh, options that you can choose from uh, we've spoken about the smart DNS or you've got the smart DNS plus VPN Choose which one's best for you. There's all different plans. Um, I currently use the uh, the one month uh, plan, which is four dollars ninety five a month. Uh, you can save money by buying more months in advance. So we're going to choose this one, and I'm going to click sign up now. And in here, it's going to tell you to choose your username, uh, choose your passwords, and enter some valid email addresses. Click agree. And then continue and then you go onto a page where it tells you to enter your billing information uh, and complete the order once you've done that and you have already changed your settings on your device you're practically ready to go so simply just go to my account on the home page go to smart DNS as we showed you before make sure global settings is on rather than off and then change this Netflix region to whatever Netflix you would like to access so if it's the US change it to the US give it 30 seconds for it to configure itself um, I'd close down the browser and I'd open up a fresh browser before going up back up to Netflix and there you go it's as simple as that if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up uh, we're hoping to get around 2,000 likes um, so yeah, and feel free to share this with your family and friends. Hopefully it will help them. And thanks very much for watching.